You're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay. Think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Oh. Get out. Out of my office. Now, as I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain, up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. <laughs> I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards and my bean cars said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine and all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us a bit. Don't worry, those stories won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shove them down. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Is, uh, is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got shot okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Just uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Don't worry about the heights. Had a few of my side pick that yellow device up. There's an open door nearby. Should take you out of the building. You'll need that new test to move around. Don't worry though, we built the building like this. Uh, don't worry about that. It's just, don't mind all this too. We just had, uh, earthquakes. These earthquakes uh, even shook up time a bit. Some stuff from the future got here. Yeah, that's how it's here. Uh, don't worry, it's still 1952. Adlai Stevenson is still president. All right, so, the earthquakes. I know, things might look different than what you're used to, but uh, while you were spending that little time sleeping, we had some, some, uh, aperture science nanomachines. Now, man, I, I just want to make sure stuff. you know something. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. it. And either, I think these switches were designed for two people. Maybe your, uh, new test can help.
testing track is just through here. Just to test your, uh, reflexes, you know, after your short sleep. Ah, oh, yes, Bravo Volta, the, hold on. hold on, fifth testing track, testing yes, track. fifth. Yeah. You'll need a portal device to get through. Uh, uh, sorry, I, I meant a portable quantum tunneling device. I did. Look, it's in your hands right now. Uh, the scientists did their job. You'll do fine. This test uses the new Aperture Science Innovator's Propulsion Gel. It allows you to... No, wait, hold on. This record says they didn't make that until the second. Never you mind that. Just to uh, solve science. That's why I said all that, right? I'd rather not have my one chance of escape. One chance of escape have a panic attack and die on me after years of being suspended in a faulty relaxation vault. Which could be a real possibility, because as my records show, the old test could cause heart attacks after small exposure to the chemicals. Gel should help you get past those turrets. I'm sorry for what I said back there. We're in this together. You're my ticket out of the junkyard down here. I'm your ticket to the outside world. I'll do my best to keep the insults at a minute. Um, I kind of have a bit of bad news. Y yeah, yeah, I know. You don't want to hear any more bad news after the security override. I couldn't do. Uh, my records of this sphere are out of date, to say the least. There should be an date 
to say the least. There should be an date to say the least. There should be date to say the least. There should be an exit after the third section of this test. Third section of this test. Third section of this test. The third section of this test. The third section of this test. However, I don't know if getting there will be that easy. You got it in you, though. You're my Olympian, who might not have a beating heart anymore. Something else happens. Wow! If you'd been there a few seconds earlier, you'd have been incinerated. Thank the maker you were, though. Okay, bad news! Uh, when the pump station blew, the floodgates opened up wide. Toxic goose rising fast, the sensors maxed out ages ago, warning lights woo, going crazy all around. This just got a lot more serious. Alright, you're at Quality Control Center 95D. Only a bit further and you'll be at the hatch up to me. Hurry. I'll try to slow the goo down a bit. Oh, great. Another blocked corridor. So, Mel, why don't you take your time? Look around here. I'll try to slow the rising goo down a little bit harder, I guess. Just the doors are locked. Ah, uh, back in the day, the wiring was a bit strange sometimes. Try turning some machinery on, see if that also unlocks the doors. Wow, th that, that actually worked. Uh, I mean, great! Well, that's just great. Can't we get through a room once without stuff blowing up? Wow, this place is massive! Whoever built this place must be a great architect. Up high, at the back side of this room, is a control panel. It controls the hatch. just outside the hatch. It's finally time for me to repay my end of the deal. You're a short walk to the new enrichment center from here. We'll meet up shortly. Ah, oh, great. You're here. I can finally get out of this technological nightmare. If you can get into the offices, I'm safe. You just might have to get around a few security defenses, though, trying to keep the giant human-eating rats out. Hey! The floor is getting quite cold here! Hey! Hey! Uh, over here! I'm right over here! Hey, Mel! Nice to finally see you! Lights? Check. Camera? Check. Good. That floor was getting very cold. My motherboard was almost going critical. All right. I know what you're thinking. Ah, much better. Good to be back on track again. Let me go back here and uh, get your elevator so we can get out of here. Yes. This should help. Th that wasn't me. 
I think. Detecting security override at sub basement 26. Generator override command initiated. Uh, override generator override command. Error. Error. Scanning for life forms. Unregistered life forms detected in facility. Commencing termination program. Three targets acquired. One organic, two mechanical. Well, at least I can get you out of here now. We'll worry about that voice on the intercom later. I'll meet you upstairs. Toxic contaminant level from testing track. Lima Whiskey rising. Time to contact the enrichment center to be determined. Flooding procedure commencing. to my testing track, so I rerouted the lift. Luckily for you, it's not too far away. These things can take forever sometimes. And there's no magazines to read. So annoying. Welcome to my testing track. It's not the best looking thing in the world, but it'll do. Let's see if I can just get this door open and get us out of here. Okay, sorry, I can't help you with this testing track. All Azure Science AIs have been programmed to not help with solving the tests. I can! I've been programmed to not help with solving the tests. I can, however, test to see if everything still works. It's been a while since I fell off that management rail and pulled it down into that pit, so... Maybe some stuff broke in my absence. Checking the funnel. I'll keep trying to take control back. In the find out where you are. Get into the elevator for the next test. I'll need a little bit more time to get... I think we'll be in the clear for a little bit, but somehow I can't get access to the final target, or even learn what it is. Whatever it is, it's enough to cause this thing to blow up the toxic blue pump control down in the salt mines. Activating Aegis Firewall. I just... Firewall. I just tripped an alarm in that thing's mainframe. <laughs> uh, it's complete. Locked me out. for you. <laughs> well, with those servers gone, I think he'll have a much harder time tracking our movements. I'm working on getting control of the elevators, so just hold on, get through this. <laughs> I got some control again. There's another lift transfer down below. Hold on, activating the elevator now. Elevator car 77. Alert status 100%. Rerouting remaining servers to biological tracking. Target lost. Rerouting. 
doubting the elevator worked. That got its attention. Don't expect this to get any easier now. Keep going. There's an easy test track up ahead. Maybe you can gain some ground on it. You can handle a lot of harder tests. This is a brand new introduction track, designed for new test subjects. You should do this really quickly. I've got a plan. Mel, over here! Um, change of plan. I found a panel that I can move out of the way. Portal down to that catwalk in the distance. I'll tell you more there. Well, well. Always well prepared. I guess you already knew that somehow that cube would come in handy. Have you done this before? Great. Through there is a crappy backstock chamber Gladys was designing before her demise. Never finished, but it should at least be working. You're going to use the elevator? Repair. I don't exactly know if everything is working properly anymore, but we don't have a choice. Ember. Ember. Dragging on target failed. Heavy organic interference. Ah, huh? it worked? It's blind here. Oh no, 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 no. There's some stuff here blocking the path for the elevator. Hold on for emergency brakes. Just climb on out of here, and let's get moving. Whoa! That was close! You could have been in there! Oh, wait, you just were. Are the old offices I was talking about before. The humans left these behind when she gassed them with neurotoxin. Because this is an abandoned track, it's no longer connected to the rest of the computer systems. Aegis shouldn't be able to lock us out here. These computers should contain a lot of useful information for us. Alright, time to start hacking into these systems. Let's start guessing passwords. Um... Password. Admin? Did you just override the admin controls? Uh, anyway, I, I think there's some info here about Aegis. I'll keep working, as long as you keep going. So, uh, get back to the testing track and, and get started. Oh, I should also let you know. I won't be able to move around much. Match materials are kinda non-existent here, unless I wanna fall off another one. 
end up back in the junkyard. You won't be seeing much of me right now. Right, there is a lot of information stored in these computers. It'll take me some time to sort through these and come up with a plan so we can get rid of Aegis. According to the systems, the toxic goo is still rising. You should continue to move. Scanners. Recalibrating sensors. Well, it seems that we won't be able to stay in the plant field test chambers much longer. It seems to be able to adapt to our actions quite well. We need to come up with a plan to take him on. Head on. But leave that to me. You can continue solving these tests. Hey, Mel. You have no idea how hard it is to move around here. Anyway. Those old turrets from all the way at the bottom of the facility? Those guys have no security systems installed. It should be really easy to reprogram them to destroy Aegis instead of humans. If we go down to a turret production line, we might be able to produce friendly turrets. Well done! Test subjects rated that as one of the hardest tests in this track. I heard that it was... Sorting through all those files, there's terabytes of emails. I'm trying to find something that can help us. Huh, did you know you can increase your core in just two easy steps? So, apparently, the records on these computers are kind of severely out of date. I think I can recompile a new version of this testing track sequence. A quick update. Compiling maps apparently it takes quite some time. At least the turrets from old Aptura are still coming up. The next chamber is the broken one. From there on, you'll have to move fast, because that's the last chamber with plants in it. Hey! We're finally at the production facility. I've been able to find a rail a bit further on. I'll meet you up ahead. We'll be going through the way to storage cube manufacturing. Organic threat presence. Uh, this is a room where they test if cubes are actually able to press buttons. It's uh, some vital testing. A cube that can't press buttons? Uh, it's a total waste. You should be able to slip through the door if it opens. Uh, don't stay too long though. Those doors will close with 5,000 pounds. The human offices are up those stairs. There are no cameras in this part of the facility, so Aegis won't be able to trap us. <laughs> Still, we've got to take him out if you want to leave this place. Anyways, if you go through the offices, I'll go through the service areas. Did you know that Aperture Science weighted storage cubes have to be bulletproof? Oh, there you are. I thought maybe somehow you managed to get lost. Anyway, we're almost at Aegis' part of the facility. Uh, mind your head here. Uh, those metal plates will hurt if they hit you. Can you believe it takes six of those plates to make one cube? Ridiculous! Aegis' lair. What an impressive sight. The power's been cut off here. Careful! Careful! 
There's a hole in the floor ahead. Just a bit further and we can get to the mainframe rooms. Uh, look, Mel, um, I just wanted to say something. I, I couldn't have done any of this without your help. If it wasn't for you, I'd still be stuck down there in the junkyard offices. Probably my battery backup would have run out in a few days. So, thanks. So, uh, let's get this done. Whatever happens, I believe in you. Really. Organic threat and mechanical threat number one. We need to turn on the power, unlock the doors, and replace the turrets. Once that's done, we should have a clear shot at Ace. Let's get going. He's diverted all the power that was. He's diverted all the power that was. He's diverted all the power that was going to the death fizzlers into the turret production. Which, hang on, that's not so bad. Get back to the elevator room. Time to turn the tables on Angus. Target the server banks instead of you. If we wait a little time, right, that worked. Uh, I knew that would work. Uh, I totally knew it would work. Hmm. Well, anyway, the turrets are ours now. Now get back to the elevator room again. Time to bring the fight to him. So that. Oh, forgot to mention. Those turrets were automatically replaced by the system as it read that there was an update to the turrets' targeting systems. Every update, they get replaced to make sure the turrets are the most up-to-date they can be. And to prevent hacking. Ah, scratch that. I oh, that's the emergency exit elevator. Once we shut down Angus, we should be able to use it to get you out of here. Unfortunately, there are no management rails in there, so you'll have to do it without me. D don't worry, though. I'll be watching from back here and help you if needed. All right, Mel. This is it. This is Aegis's server room. Get ready for this. It won't give up without a fight. Organic target detected in quarantine operations center. Preparing localized execution procedure. Well, it seems that he's booting up his security. He doesn't seem to know about the turrets yet. He'll be in for quite a shock. Oh, the water is electrified. Look at the damage that pumping up the water did. Almost a quarter of his servers are completely destroyed. Not bad for a simple maintenance core. A anyways, try to find a way to the back of the room. There's a turret dispenser over there. <laughs> 